And that is recording. All right, you ready, Freddy? All right, you ready, set, go, man. Yep, ready. All right, ready. ready. Okay. You dressed up for this. I did. I like that. Well, you told me this was an important event. You Looks, said this you was a you formal look special. presentation. It, it is a formal presentation. And so... And I did not dress up. Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. Mm -hmm. We have a special presentation today. Uh, as you can tell by this lovely, lovely gold camera that's in my hand right here. I'm going to set it down for a moment. Todd, we are doing the Holga Awards. The Holga Week Awards. What was the theme song for this now? Oh, we had a theme song. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I forgot to get a theme song. We need to do uh, next year. Next yeah. year, a theme next song. Year, I a theme will. Song. I've got. I've got things for next year here at the bottom. Here. Oh, okay. So, okay. So next year, a theme number song. Number one on the list. No, well, I don't know about that, but still, my it, list. It's, it's definitely number one. My five list. or six. Well, number one on my if list. If it's special to you, that's fine with me. So uh, before we get too very far, um, okay. a lot of people don't know how I got Holga Week, and I'd like to start off by giving a special thank you. Because uh, a longtime social media friend of mine, by the uh, who went by the account of Holga Jen, she now goes by Jen's Fine Art. Her name is Jennifer Hen uh, Henriksen. Hen Henriksen. 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 Uh, it looks like it's. I, I just know. I, well, she is up in Canada. See, there, there you go. go. Hey, educated man here. Yeah. Uh, I know her as Holga Jen because I've known her for years. I probably almost 10 years as Holga Jen. And she started Holga Week, I would say, back in 2015 or something like that. Uh, and uh, in the summertime, she uh, sent me a, a message and she said, uh, Mr. Holga, uh, would you like Holga Week? I, I'm just, I can't do it anymore. And I'm like, you know, yes, I can do it. And so I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but I, I did it. And I really am uh, very appreciative that she entrusted this with me mm -hmm. because it has been a huge project and it's near and dear to my heart. And I'm hoping everybody had a lot of fun and I'm hoping I'm doing it justice for what she did to it. I mean, a lot more work than you thought it was. Oh my gosh, it was a lot of work, <laughs> tons and tons of work. <laughs> so I need for so right off the bat, Holga Jen, with all all of my heart, thank you very much for entrusting this with me. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you. All right, all right. So uh, just a brief summary: the contest itself, uh, as you know, Todd, it's Holga Week, and from October first through seventh, twenty nineteen, everybody was supposed to get their Holga, a Holga, a Holga, a Holga. They're supposed to get their cheap little plastic camera, a Holga, and they were supposed to go shooting. And which, of course, a lot of people did. <laughs> a hoga to go a shooting. <laughs> exactly. A hoga to go shooting. Uh, after that, they had through October 8th through the uh, November 10th to get their film developed, uh, scanned, uh, and entered into the contest. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we had uh, judging and voting, which went from uh, November 11th through 17th. Now, who did? Are you going to talk about who did that? I will do. Oh, okay. I will. He, he hasn't read any of this. He's jumping ahead. We don't, we don't normally prepare for anything, do we? No. No. So, But he did prepare to wear a jacket today. Yes. So. I did. I, I, and I can write it off as a uh, tax. Business. Exactly. 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 It's a tax expense. Uh, so the jurying, uh, the judging <laughs> and the voting was November 11th through 17th. And of course, the awards are Friday. We're mm. recording this early, but pretend that this is actually Friday now because that's essentially Friday, November 22nd. The awards are going out. And okay. everybody's going to know. So right yes. now, you and I are the only ones who know. The only two we're going to be right. the only two people only who people. know, who know who the Holga 2019 so, Holga Week champion is. I'll be opening up the odds market and the bids after this. Consider yourself <laughs> Price Waterhouse Coopers. You you will know. <laughs> All right. So uh, categories and jurors. We had uh, several categories here. We had Holga Street, which is street photography. So anything, go outside, walking around town, shooting, it doesn't really matter. That's what it is. Uh, essentially, that is going to be judged by the Hypersensitive Photography Podcast, uh, who is actually Hamish Gill and Emulsive. To, uh, you know, great, some great yeah. people. This was one of the largest categories to actually yeah. vote. Uh, and emulsive or is it emulsive.org or some film? Emulsive. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's emulsive.org, but it is emulsive. That's yeah, they and they've by. got a huge presence. On, they do. On the, I, I love emulsive. And I, they've got tons of great articles all the time. They do. And, and reviews of film, lots of stuff. And they've been very supportive of us as far as, you know, retweeting stuff and getting the word out. It's been, yes. it's been fantastic. It really has. The next category was Holga Nature. 
So you notice everything starts with Holga. We've got a pattern going here. Holga nature. Obviously, uh, anything that's not the city. Uh, as a matter of fact, I said, if you get if you only have one bar of a cell phone, then you're in Holga nature. Yeah, Holga nature. So I don't care if it's a barn, a tractor, a cow, a horse, a flower. That Holga nature. No city skyscrapers in the background. No, none of those. Not not one. Uh, that was judged or jurored by the Classic Camera Revival podcast. Some mm. nice uh, people for us took care of that. And if you notice, that's the sec second podcast that's taking stuff, yes. care of stuff for us. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm not familiar with the Classic Camera Revival podcast. I'm going to have to listen to them now. Yes, you will. They're, they're pretty, yeah. fun. They're pretty yeah. fun guys. All right. The next category is Holga Portrait. Obviously, anything that's a portrait, any sh direct shot of a person. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you could still take a Holga portrait in the country, in the city, in a studio setting. I mean, we right. had some really good examples of Holga, Holga, oh, yes. me, of Holga portraits on there. Very neat ones. I, As a matter of fact, we had a couple that were like so well done. You're thinking that, wow, yeah, that was professional. Uh, was, that, was, that, was that really the Holga? But you know what? It's These cameras can do that. So. It, they, they certainly can. I can do that. The next category, one is really a, actually one of them that inspired me to change the categories was Holga Pinhole. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's because the Lensless Podcast are the uh, judges for this. Uh, I know Corey and Andrew, really two great guys. It's a great podcast. I think I've heard about all of them. I've been on several of them. Uh, so Where you, are they based out of? Well, uh, Corey is over in the Carolinas. Don't ask me which one. And uh, Andrew is in the UK. Uh, wow. Actually, actually, because Andrew's uh, uh, his this username is, is War Boys. Yeah, uh, he's actually in War Boys uh, United Kingdom. Wow! So this thing's international. Oh, very international. I got that coming up here as well. Yeah. See, see once again, he's like reading ahead. Yeah. I no, I'm not. I'm just that good. <laughs> the last category is Holga Select. Now, I didn't want to call it People's Choice Award. That just sounds so eh. But essentially, it is, and only photographers who actually entered a photograph were allowed to vote. And so it's like, really, it's you, you are being voted by your own peers at that time. So right. if you didn't enter, right the Academy if you did not enter a photograph, you did not get to vote. Uh, now, we had a lot of people looking at photos and I'm sure hoping they enjoyed themselves. But only people who enter photograph could actually vote, which was actually great. Yes, yeah. we got a ton of votes. I'll get to those stats in a minute. Yes, I, I, that I want to know. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's going to be some good stats. here. So we have some sponsors. I'd like to thank the sponsors. Exactly. We love. Let's, let's thank our sponsors. Uh, the first sponsor is going to be Ilford Photo. No, we're not being we're not being sponsored by my shirt today. No, 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 no. I'm I'm Vanna White. <laughs> Ilford Photo. Il Ilford Photo. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Ilford. Was, and I get up and I'll turn a letter every. So now. very kind to uh, uh, donate Simplicity yes. Film Processing Kits to the winners. I do yes. not know how we're going to get those to them. Hopefully, it's just a card in the mail or something like that. But because uh, I hate to have to ship that stuff. No, it's, it's easily shippable. Okay. But uh, so it, the kit, I have not tried one yet. I'm actually pretty excited to try one myself. So mm -hmm. this is going to be a good prize for all the winners. Yes. The uh, Our next sponsor is Old School Photo Lab mm -hmm. up in uh, New Hampshire. Excuse me, Dover, New Hampshire? No, I don't know. But I believe we, so. Yeah. Yes. Old School. Uh, we'll we'll have a correction on the bottom if it needs to be. <laughs> Always. Well, I don't know. There's are, are there always corrections on the bottom of our never, videos? Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> So uh, old school photo but lab. I love those ones, guys. I they're do the ones that were on the back of the Hoga Week. Oh yeah. yeah, we don't have a T-shirt with Wait, us. Over, over there. Could you go, could, yeah. Vanna? Could you run and go grab one? I uh, shall be right back. Uh, old school photo lab. They were very kind to sponsor the T-shirts for us. Uh, they they fronted some costs to bring the cost of the shirts down. We did get a lot of these shirts all over the United States. I really wish we could have gotten more of them international however international shipping is is a pain so we're it's gonna have insane. to find some way to cheapen the international so, shipping i i have not looked at this and we're going to look at this together all together okay to see what you have not looked at this well i mean I, I just looked at the front okay old school photo lab that doesn't have where does it well no actually they actually had me replace it because they wanted we love film on there and they do i have sent them a lot of film and it comes back great every time and not only did they uh, sponsor cool. shirts, they actually gave out a free scanning discount, essentially for anybody who sent film during Holga Week processing time <laughs> to uh, actually get free scans. I mean, it was a fantastic deal. We love yes. them a lot for this. And thank now, you. Thank you. While, while we're doing that, I just want to show this because, you know, we're, 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 yeah. this is starting to turn into the prices right now. This is an Ilford Simplicity. Kit. Photo, uh, film processing kit. 
Yes, it has the film developer. Yeah. Stop bath. Yeah. Fixer, and film wedding agent. There is an individual packet of each one. You take it, put it in a beaker, fill it nine to one ratio, put it in the tank, and there you go. It's easy. It does two at a time. This is what it's made for. And it'll probably do a lot of rolls, just two at a time. I do wonder how many rolls it would do, one kid. Uh, I've heard up to like 10, 15. But that's pretty so good. It's not just a do two rolls and chunk it. it you, you can sit there and do quite a bit. Excellent. So this is that. Well, congratulations on all the winners. That's going to be a good prize for you guys. Yeah. And uh, lastly, I'd like to thank Don's Used Photo Equipment for all of their support, for all of their help. I mean, you know, Todd is an encyclopedia of how to do things and suggestions and ideas. And yes, he's being very quiet here and letting me talk a lot. But uh, behind the scenes, he, he is very helpful and encouraging. So uh, some of this could not have been possible without Todd. Well, so thank you. Thank I, you. I certainly appreciate it, Todd. You're welcome. All right, so just the facts, my friends, just the facts. Uh, 85 photographers submitted photos. 85. 85 wow. photographers. 161 photographs submitted for Holga Week. Wow. 715 votes for the Holga Select Prize. Now, that's not just one uh, that's not just one photo. That's across all the photos. That's mm -hmm. a lot of people saying, hey, I like this. I like this. I like this. So I'm pretty sure almost every photograph got a couple of likes. Now, so, yeah. Unlike Instagram, I'm not showing the likes because as I think they're that was I didn't want to sway any votes. Yes. So. Very good. Very good. Uh, 15 countries. So this is an international, international event. Wow. I mean, this is just a little bit more than the, the country of Texas. This is the world. There's stuff outside of Texas. I, not, not that I know. There really okay. is not. Uh, don't scare me. Man. <laughs> uh, Argentina, Australia, wow. Austria, Canada, Germany, France, Indonesia, Ireland, Italy, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Philippines, United Kingdom, and of course, United States. USA. Yes, 15 different countries. I mean, that is impressive. I mean, at times, the social media accounts are blowing up all over the world as far as people asking questions, uh, whether they can submit and different things like that. Now, and, and mind you, I don't care where you're at in this world, you will be getting your prize some some way or other. It, it's going to happen. By post office or by mule train. You'll exactly. <laughs> mule, mule train. <laughs> oh, by mule train. Well, you know, we finally reached to the uh, the part that everybody's been waiting for. It's time for the awards themselves. Oh, man. Blah, 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 blah. Exactly. The awards. And we're essentially going to do these roughly in order as how they were on the system. We're going to start with Holga first? Street. Which one first? Which one is that? Holga Street. That was the first okay. ones here. Now, then I will do my bit. And which one should I hold up All right. First? So, well, we're uh, let's take the second one here. Okay. This one? This one is the honorable mention for street. Can you read off the back who, who it was by? Yes, okay, I will hand those to you. you okay, yes. Wow. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Actually, no, it, that's it. Hold on, shoot. I, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, the, that's the Holga Street honorable mention, and that's that one. Okay, I'm sorry. that's this one. We've got a couple of titles on the back of these. That's right, but I'm trying to figure out the name. Garon Kaisel. 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 Let's go with Kaisel? that. Out of Carmelo, California, USA. <laughs> Hoga Street, Times Square, New York. Oh, yes. New York. A Hoga 120N with Ilford HP5. This is the Hoga Select winner. Yes, but don't read that. Just, oh. just no. Read oh, Hoga. Hoga Select. No, honorable Hoga mention. Street. No, no, don't read the top one. I'm not. Hoga Street, honorable mention. Okay, thank you. You can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll See, hold this, this one. Is what he right. doesn't tell me. Unfortunately, what. it's got more than one potential award winner on here. So yeah, well, only, I mean, only read the top one here. <laughs> oh, the top one. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now, this one is Matt Evans. That's an easy name to pronounce. Out of Wellington, New Zealand. Ooh, all, all the right. way from New Zealand. This is Kiwi Flat Iron Building yep. in Newton, Newtown, Wellington, New Zealand. It's a uh, Holga 120 CFN. With Ilford HP 5 Plus. And this is the Hoga, Hoga Street, Street winner. winner. This person is the winner. We for have this the category. Honorable mention, this is the winner. Yes, for this category. So congratulations, Matt, Matt Evans, Evans. Out of New Zealand, Wellington, New Zealand. Fantastic. Yes, it's great. Well, I'm glad we got this difficult uh, uh, difficulties out of the way here. <laughs> 
All right. I'm just going to hand yes, it because I know you. the awards, but then okay. you can read them after that. Uh, this is the honorable mention for the Holga Nature Award. All right. Now I'm going to put this right. You might want to go a little closer because this one is printed oh, a little bit yes. smaller. And we're going to sit there and it's gonna, we're going to get out of focus. But that's okay. Martin Lold. L-U-D-L. Lold. Lold. Out of Vienna. Vienna AT. Uh, isn't that Austria? It is today. Okay. <laughs> Hoga Nature. <laughs> Liebensbahn Tree of Life. Schwarzenbergbach, Vienna. Yeah. It is a Hoga 120 pan and a Roly Retro 80s. Okay. So this is a Hoga 120 pan. So he's taken, essentially, it's a 6 by 12 photograph. And we'll put this up. There we go. How is that? All right, that is the Hoga Nature Honorable Mention. All right. And yeah. this is the Hoga Nature winner. Wow, I'm telling you, y'all are killing me here, people. <laughs> Yorn. Yorn Buttleman. Yorn Buttleman. Well, this is an international contest. Well, I know, but it's Berlin. They, we, well, they're not all named Texan. So uh, is that Tex? Is that Delaware or is that That's Germany? abbreviation for Deutschland. So Deutschland, it's Germany. Germany, yeah. That's mm -hmm. right, Deutschland. Hoga Nature. Thunder, Berlin, Germany, Hoga 120 GCFN, Kodak Portra 160. Yes, and only read the second one here, the Hoga Nature, Nature winner. winner. Exactly. Which you just read. Exactly. The Hoga Nature so, winner. So, Todd, what is a Hoga 120 GCFN? That's a Hoga camera. <laughs> The G stands for glass. Ah, glass lens. The C stands for color uh, flash. Color the flash. F stands for flash. And the N stands for it's the, the newer version versus the S oh, model. Oh, okay, okay. Very so, good. No. There you so go. He, had, he has now learned something. This is a lovely photo. I like this one. Yes. All right. So we are now going to the Holga portrait category here. And here is the honorable mention. Yes, the honorable mention right here. I do not know how this got here. I honestly don't know. I, I had nothing to do with this. No, in all in a full disclosure, I am not the judge, the jury, or anything of this. Okay, but yes, um, that is my picture. Yes, it is him. I don't want to scare you with it getting too close. <laughs> Mark Dalal. Mark Dalal. Dalal, out of McKinney, Texas, USA. USA. It's a Hoga portrait. Mm -hmm. The Grand Poopa, Paris, Texas. Hoga 120N. Ilford HP 5 Plus. There you go. All right, all right. This is like from the Flintstones, the Grand Poobah. The Grand Poobah. You know the guy with the big hat? Yes. You but watched the a, Flintstones? Well, yes, growing up, I sure did. All right, so yeah, this is a Holga 120N, yes, which means... The new one. No, no, flash, no, no, no flash, flash. No flash. No color wheel. No color. No glass. No glass. It's plastic. See, he's learning how to read this already. Fantastic. So that is the honorable mention. And here we have the Holga portrait winner. This is the Holga portrait winner. Uh, okay. Dell Willits. Dale. Walswall, West Midlands, UK. <laughs> I am butchering these things. He I'm is. Pretty sure. I'm glad he's doing this and not me. <laughs> <laughs> Send all of your hate mail to. <laughs> no. This is O Mike, 74 year old trucker, Willing Hall, West Midlands, Holga 120 CFN. Ilford HP 5 Plus. Yes. And that is our Holga Portrait winner. Congratulations, Dale. <laughs> oh, I, <just> can't. <laughs> I, I do. I, I do like the fact that of all the things that are in focus, his hand is actually the thing that is in most focus. Uh -huh. And so it really it draws your eye to that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. Now, all right, I'll take these from you. All right, and our last judged juried category is the Holga Pinhole. Holga Here pinhole. is our honorable mention. The honorable mention, and I'll move it up close. This is Dennis Stein, West Roxbury, Massachusetts, USA. Holga Pinhole, Arboretum 2, Boston, Mass. Holga 120 WPC, Lomography Lomochrome was the film. Exactly. So 120 WPC. Wide pinhole camera. You got it. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. And that was just a guess, guys. That's an excellent, excellent guess. That's and right. that is Holga, we, uh, Holga Pinhole 
Honorable mention. Yes, and it's Arboretum 2. Arboretum 2. I think oh. he just named him Arboretum 1, 2, and 3. I think he submitted oh, three photos. Three photos. There you go. Uh, wow. We actually got very few color photos submitted, and I had the... And not that I'm saying you guys should submit more color films, but the ones that were in color really popped out. Yes, they kind of did. Now, and here we have the Holga Pinhole winner. Ah, yes. Here we go. Uh, he thinks he can pronounce this name. That's Ed Condi. Ed Condi. No, I can't, can I? Uh, excellent. There you go. Los Angeles, California, USA. Hoga Pinho, 9-11 Memorial Flag Display, Malibu, California. Hoga WPC-120. The film is Arista EDU-100. Wonderful. Well done. Thank you. All right, so those are the now winners. We'll, we'll put it back here so get it back in focus for us. <laughs> well, you know, I'm probably going to overlay the real pictures. Oh, that, well, yeah, that, that would That would make sense, too. Yeah. Sure. So, as you can see from all of the winners that we had, we, no, have, we had this five one. categories. This is, there's just four. You're right. I do have one more category. We have one more winner. That's where you accidentally read the wrong thing. So, we have the Hoga Select winner. So it's the first title here. So this was the so this was actually the honorable mention. So and, and ac in all actuality, the uh, the Holga uh, the Holga Street honorable mention became the Holga Select winner. The overall winner. Well, no, no, not the. This the is not the award. This okay. is the Holga Select. So this is the People's Choice vote. The People's Choice vote. The Holga Select. This you guys selected this photograph as your title. And who is it again? That is Yaron. Kaisel? No, he's going to butcher the name twice. Sure, Not just yeah. once, twice. And I probably butchered it two different ways. <laughs> times, right? uh, Garon, Garon Kaisel? Garon Kaisel. In Carmelo, California, U.S. This yes, is Times, Times Square. Square. New York, New York. Holga 100, uh, 120N. Mm -hmm. Ilford HP 5 Plus. Yes. Uh, this one, now we got a lot of votes. And yes. I was so worried that we were going to have a tie. And as a matter of fact, I had a... Uh, I had a, a couple of buddies standing by who had actually submitted. I said, "Look, if you hadn't voted, I'm going to need you to vote." And but uh, I didn't. I didn't need it. You guys picked a clear champion here, and that is the one. So that People was the oldest select winner. All right. So now, this is a winner. 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 And this is a winner. Okay, so I want I'm I'm showing you all of these because I want you to get a good feeling for what a tough job I had. I really, really had a tough decision to make here. Which one of these five is actually going to become the 2019 Hoga Week champion? Now I'm not just talking about winner. I'm talking about the champion, the person who's going to walk away with this lovely gold Hoga right here. And after a small amount of deliberation, you know, I, I, I ended up, I did pare down the list a little bit. And I tell you that I, I ended up with these three, and I'll bring those back. Okay. I, I ended up with these three as my top choices. These are my top choices. If I could split this three ways, I would have done because I think these are all exceptional photographs. I think the, the deep colors here are fantastic. I think the double exposure here is wonderful, and this is fantastic pinhole work. It's got a lot of depth. As a matter of fact, there's a nice person off here in the distance. I've shown these to several people. Uh, a lot of people couldn't decide which one they liked better. Uh, I even I even involved Mrs. Holga in this one a little bit. I said, and which one did you like? And I think I came back time and time again, unfortunately, or fortunately, excuse me, I shouldn't say unfortunately, very fortunately, the 2019 Holga Week champion. There can only be one. Is, there can be only one. Is Thunder. John but uh, Buttleman. And this is his titled Thunder. Berlin, Germany. So fantastic. Wonderful job. This is the champion picture. <laughs> I really do feel like Man of White now. <laughs> <laughs> So the uh, champion is, of course, going to get a lovely gold Holga. 
I do not guarantee it works. I don't guarantee it works at all. It has been, it's a symbolic. It has, it has been painted. It's going to have uh, it's going to have champion written on it. It's probably going to have your name on it. And I'm going to be sending it to Germany because that's where it's going to go. I'm also going to make sure that uh, I'm sorry. The first name was uh, Yorn. I'm sure going to make Yorn has a T-shirt, a button, a pin, a sticker. I might even throw in a copy of my uh, book, Death by Holga, which I did a few years back. I've got a copy laying around. But here is probably the most important thing I'm going to give them. Yes. Yorn is going to decide the 2020 champion. Ooh. Exactly. exactly. So it, uh, he, it's, he, well, it's going to go. be his decision Pressure. who is going to win. So the good news for all of you guys is he is now automatically disqualified from winning because this is your competition. Mm -hmm. But... The great news for him is it's it's now resting on his shoulders to crown the 2020 Holga Week champion because he is now the 2019 Holga Week champion. That's right. This is coming your way. Ooh. And then they stopped ringing. See? I heard it's ported to my cell phone. <laughs> so if Yorn is here right now, he can give a concession speech or a uh, acceptance speech. Excuse me. He's not here? Nope. He's not here. Okay. Fantastic. Well, we can put this down. So thank you. He's done an excellent job. Please give a round of applause for my, my assistant here. Thank you. Thank you. That's a round of applause. <laughs> well, I am going to give some, uh, I'm going to give a few thank yous myself. Uh, first of all, I'm going to uh, thank everybody for their support, their encouragement. Uh, this has been a big project. It was no small task. Uh, once again, I'm going to uh, thank Holga Jen for entrusting this me with this Um and I'm also going to say I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties, but we're going to have a few growing pains. And next year, it's going to be even bigger and better. And hopefully, we're going to get all the technical difficulties worked out before then. So it's going to be really smooth and easy. Yeah. How long did you have to prepare for this one? Well, you know, because I've, I've got one of those things called a full-time job mm -hmm. and this on top of that. So I essentially, I did all the coding and developing myself. I mean... But when did you just require the Hoga week? I mean, I, ha I had, uh, let's see here, it started getting hot and heavy. And no, I mean, when did you take over the... the, the like the, in July. So July. And the contest was... October 1st October, through 7th. July, August, September, October, three months. You did not have very long... No, I did not have very long. ...to take over the mantle of Hoga Week. That is true. And put the show on. Yeah. And you had a round-the-world international competition and... A huge round the world audience on this. And I appreciate it, everybody. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so uh next year let's well we're gonna get some improvements and I think you guys are gonna like it. Um now as a reminder, I hate to give a a, a selfless plug here. We still have some t-shirts, some pins, some buttons, yes. some stickers. Mm -hmm. Uh they're now collector items. They're not collector's items. Yes, they're they're past due, but they're still, if you shot and you would still like one, please go to holgaweek.com slash store. Mm -hmm. uh, buy one. If you're international, shoot us an email or something like that. We'll see what we can do to get the cheapest shipping we possibly can because I would like you to have one. And I don't really want to keep them forever no. because essentially they will hang around my house forever. I'm telling you, they will become collectible items. Eventually they will, yes. They will. And lastly, Holga Week 2020. Now, Todd, when I first started this, mm -hmm. I said I wanted it to be memorable. And I said, I, and I wanted it to be regular. And I wanted people to be able to, without thinking, to know when Holga Week was. So, Todd, Holga Week 2020, what are the dates? October 1st through 7th. He is absolutely right. October 1st through 7th is Holga Week from now on. No Next, matter when it starts. No matter, what, what, no matter day what is? day of the week it begins. Holga week, October 1st First through 7th. 7th. And as best we can, we're going to stick to the same schedule as far as uh, developing film and submitting Late entries time. and getting uh, getting an announcement out like what we're doing right now, this presentation. Mm -hmm. So now um, we have nearly a, well, 11, uh, 10, 11 months to prepare for the next one. Well, not even, just well no, not, I'd say nine months. Nine months. Nine months. Which is seven months more than you had. <laughs> Yes, it is quite a bit. <laughs> and yes. Uh, and of course, for next year, we're definitely going to try and get an iPhone and an Android app. Maybe it'll make the entries a little easier. Uh, maybe there's a way that we can actually share images. If we get something built early, maybe we could start sharing some images with each other a little bit earlier. Those won't mm -hmm. be official Holga Week images, but sharing never hurts. 
And lastly, uh, cheap or cheaper international shipping, because I know a lot of people wanted T-shirts and buttons and things like that. But, you know, the shipping was just killing it. But what are you going to do sometimes? You can't you, you can't beat the postman. As you were saying, one of the things that I was that I, I lean on for a Todd for is and he has been highly encouraging, which I think we need to give it a try, is a Holga community and uh, do to start doing some events around Holga week. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to see what we can do to make this uh, an event, a happening, something to get people excited, to possibly gather together, maybe go on some photo walks, some lectures, some talks, some mm -hmm. presentations, whatever it takes to have a little bit more Holga fun. Absolutely. Right. And and have other people around to, have the, to do events and things with, and that makes it more fun. Absolutely. There are, there are a lot of people who have got uh, different Te not techniques, but who've got uh, different interests, who have got different abilities. We would love to hear from them. They find out how they're doing stuff. There are people out there who have Hoga hacks. Yes. That do fun things with Hoga Hogas. Mo Hoga mods. Yes. That do fun things with Hogas that, that should be discussed and sh should be shown and talked about. I think uh, the more events that people can go to, right. that generates more interest for other people to get involved and expand the Hoga community. Absolutely. We are the world. We are Hoga. <laughs> I'm not certain. So yes. Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, essentially, that is it. Congratulations to everybody who entered, who everybody who won, and the mm -hmm. art champion, Yorn. Uh, congratulations. I, I had a fantastic time. I hope you had time, too. Uh, Todd, do we have anything else? Is that I it? can't think of anything else. All right. Thank so, you for letting me participate in this. He, he doesn't. He look lovely in his jacket. I did. It looks very nice. Yes. Well, with that, we're going to say goodbye to y'all, and we will see you next year, actually, in oh, the next video. Well, well, next video, next year, or, or between now and then. <laughs> exactly. You never know when the next one is going to be recorded. Yes. All right. Thank love you, y'all.